Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be looking at the Toolbox. This is a nice little programmable controller that can be used for your editing software, Photoshop. If you're an artist and you like to do maybe illustrations or even animations, this is a nice little handy addition you might like. I thought I'd do a little unboxing just to show you what it's uh, all about. There has been a Kickstarter campaign, I'm pretty sure, that um, funded this. And uh, it's a little bit different to ones that you may have seen before, like the uh, Loop Deck, for example. That's one I use for my video, video and uh, photo editing. Much more compact, about a third of the size. I'm actually going to be doing a little review on this, but I thought as a little bonus, I would do a little quick unboxing just to give you a little brief look before we do you know, an actual review. So I'm not sure if this is the actual package that's going to come in purely because this is an early version. Um, this might be the final, it might not. So to take that with a you know, grain of salt, that it may be a little bit different if you actually buy one to what you see here. But obviously the contents will be the same. So a very simple box. At the bottom here, we've just got a little bit of information. And then a uh, just a logo. Very simple, simple but effective. Let's just get into this. I don't want to make this video too long as it's more of a preview and like a first look, but um, my videos never generally go to plan. So um, we've got a user manual, first things we see, and a quick start guide to show you how to get running nice and fast, piece of protective uh, soft material. Now, this is quite cool. So the box itself with the toolbox says September the 9th, uh, sorry, September the 15th, 2019, which is obviously the date they launched it. There's a little accessory box, which I think we'll look at first. So in here we have a, okay, so a USB-A, this is a USB-3 Gen 3, and a USB-C port, it's not focusing very fast, there we go. Uh, nice little weave on this cable as well. Nicely, nice uh, close knit. Now let's just get into the main article. This is what we're all here for, right? So. There she be, the toolbox. Now, obviously, it's nice and small. This is kind of going to be, they're aiming to make it a keyboard replacement. Um, whether we'll find there are enough functionality on it to actually replace the keyboard is obviously a question we'll answer in the review. But let's give you a little quick glance at what's going on. So on the left hand side, we've got a, uh, it feels like a single click button. It would be nice if it was kind of rocker, so you could maybe have two on there. I will cover if I find it limiting by the amount on there in the actual review. Scroll wheel feels very much like a mouse scroll wheel so maybe good for adjusting uh, white balance maybe or you know changing your brush size another one of those buttons that's a uh, similar feel to the side at the top a nice dial i think personally this is going to be um, good for tint or maybe uh, temperature control there's no click on there that's something i think they could have added but it's easy to press that would be nice a uh, little button under there maybe you could have white balance or temperature and then you could press that to do tint maybe you can override or add, add an additional control or will be revealed little dial here rotating dial little d-pad in the center bottom here and then two buttons on the far right hand side there's a little part there that looks like it's going to be um, a light or a power led indicator when it's actually plugged in now the, the whole premise is you'll have this on your left hand and then you'll be able to easily control what's going on over here. So we'll obviously see how well this comes out in practice. Um, and then obviously you have your mouse and stuff over there. So like here's a more realistic demonstration. So you'd have your hand on here, you do some scrolls, do some clicks as you do stuff with your right hand as well. So, yeah, you know, we're going to have some time with it to see how we get on first before I bring you the review. On the top, by the way, we have the USB-A and USB-C port. 
I can't confirm whether you can use either. So if you want to plug it in by USB-C on your PC or USB-A, and obviously you've got the other end of the cable to, you know, plug in USB-A, you're going to go into the C and then vice versa. It may be that you can plug in using USB-C and then use the extra port as an additional, maybe for an accessory. Not 100% sure, just an overview video, don't forget. So I just wanted to show you guys for anyone that may be interested in how it looks in comparison to um, pictures, because pictures don't always tell a good tale. As a side note, I have got big hands, um, really gi quite giant hands, so that's, um, you know, much bigger than the average person. So let's kind of do a mouse scale. I think that's a more realistic example for most people. But first impressions, it, the build quality is very nice. It does feel solid. It does have a nice rubber texture. Um, not overly grippy, uh, quite smooth, but it does feel nice. I don't think it's going to collect fingerprints easily, either, which is always a bonus. But for the majority, I like it. On the back, we've just got some information, the same sticker that we found on the front. There's some nice rubber feet. It doesn't actually move very much. When it's on the desk, you can click your buttons as well without it moving, so that's a bonus. But yeah, first impression is very nice. Also, quickly, they do a white version if you're not fancy, if you don't fancy the black. So there's quite a, uh, a contrast in options there. But I like it. So we'll see how we get on. Obviously, I'll map um, Premiere Pro is probably the most common one I'll use with this. Um, especially having the dials and things to do, you know, tints and exposures and stuff. But, yeah. So, stay tuned for the full review. I'll let you know when it's going to go live on my social media. And if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and ding that notification bell so you don't miss the full review. As well as other uploads, because YouTube's a little bit iffy at the moment with uh, showing videos on the home page or the subscription feed. So, yeah, ding that bell so you don't miss one. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for Toolbox sending this out for me to review. I'll see you all in the next one.